we have about 600 cows. We milk them twice a day. This is how uh, we provide for our family. So the train's going to go right through the middle? It's going to go north and south, come in this direction. It's going to be about 50 feet away from where we're standing here. If the line does come through, the impacts are going to be tremendous. It will go through where we store our feed, through a corral of cows, takes out my dad's house, blocks road access to our facility, and puts the train way too close. <laughs> Creating the high-speed rail system here in California really is part of our, our growth strategy for the state. As we add the population of the equivalent of the state of New York, 20 million people over the next uh, few decades here. Being able to connect the major metropolitan centers and tie them together with the Central Valley, which is the fastest growing part of the state, really will uh, enhance our economic competitiveness and will have environmental benefits as well. It just doesn't make any sense. We're a farming community. We're the breadbasket of the world. I mean, the people that use Fresno to Bakersfield the most are truck drivers that deliver produce, that deliver fuel, that deliver all kinds of things that keep our communities rolling. The Valley is a conservative area. The Bay Area in LA is liberal, democratic. So if they would have put it first in those areas, knock down houses, make a mess like they're planning to do to here, they would lose their votes. This is an investment. Remember, California is the ninth largest economy in the world. One of the reasons we're where we are are because of prior investments like this in the state water system, in the state universities, and the state highway system. You have to invest in order to uh, succeed and be competitive and provide a quality of life for people in the state. A big infrastructure program re requires upfront public funding in order to then take some of the risk away from the private sector and then they come in and play a significant role. I hear a high-speed rail line in my dad's native country of Portugal collecting dust and flies. So is it useful? Are people going to ride it? I mean, at the kind of numbers that they're talking about per ticket, it's impossible. It's impossible for it to be cost-effective for people to ride that thing. It just does not make economic sense. 